Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Blunt Side You Tarot. My name is Robin. And Cancer, today is December 5th, 2023. And we're going to do a What You Need to Know Right Now style reading. Let's see what you need to know right now. Let's talk about you, Cancer. Hold up. What do we got? We got the fork in the road. Okay. Clearly, you have a decision to make. The path to take. Some options in the middle. You're, well, you just got a choice to say. You got a choice. <laughs> so let's see what they be saying about this. It looks like you have some options and some decisions here. A lot of thinking here, Kansa. A lot of thinking. Let's get down to business. You can answer. If you're interested in a personal reading, I am open for them. So if you're... That was like... I fucked that up. <laughs> if you want a personal reading, they're available. The link is in the description box below. You know what to do. All right, let's get into your reading because obviously that's a little more important. We have the lovers. We have the temperance in reverse. This is what you need to know right now. Temperance in reverse is how it's going to affect you. Hmm. And actions to take or advice you want to pass along to Kansa. Well, there's the crossroads energy. What's with that two of swords? Whoa. And there's the fool. That's very, uh, we have, you know, the world, what I was hearing was Lenny Kravitz, right? It ain't over till it's over. And then we got the fool, fresh start, new beginning. We have some interesting energy here. Let's talk about this. The lovers, I mean, we could be talking about love in a relationship, but I really took it as the lovers is a decision that you have to make. We have three cards of choices and decisions. But the lovers is an energy of trusting your inner morals, your inner compass, doing what's best for you, not giving into temptation, not prioritizing other people, not putting yourself last. That's what you need to know right now is it's time to put yourself first. It's prioritize you, your wants, your desires, your needs, your goals, your aspirations, um, and just go after what it is that you want. What else you want to say here about the lovers for Kansa? What you want to say here, baby? What you want to say? Two of Wands. Yeah. Eight of Swords. Whoa. Damn, Cancer. Penny for your thoughts. There's a lot of thinking here. We got the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. Oh, we got a lot of thinking. This is thinking about your future here. The Two of Wands is the card of looking forward. It's the card of planning your future. It's the card of making things happen, right? Creating a plan and progressing forward. You're doing a lot of thinking about your future here. Um, that's what you need to know right now. And, it, and it, there's a Nine of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles and the, and the, and the Knight of Pentacles. Um, what's going to bring in stability? What's going to bring in balance? What's going to bring in happiness? Uh, some of you could be leaving a connection or it could be leaving a job. There's an element of leaving something behind in order to, to progress forward. I really feel you're thinking a lot about your future, where you want to be and what you want to, what you want here, Cancer. Um, let's see what we need to know about that. I mean, the main message is to prioritize your happiness and make sure you're doing what's best for you. You know, you can't serve from an empty vessel, right? So you got to make sure that you're showing yourself the self-love and making the best decisions for you. And I feel like you're really examining your future and, and what path you want to take here. Let's talk about this temperance in reverse, because this is an energy of, could be imbalance, could be lack of patience. What's, uh, there's a knight of cups. Hold on. This little knight of cups is not really, there he goes. He decided to come out. All right, what else we got with him? Two of pentacles. Yeah, the knight of cups. The lovers again. The ten of cups. And the queen of wands coming with the fire sign, Aries Leo Sag. Um... I think you're running out of patience with somebody or a situation. Um, I, I feel with the Knight of Cups, you're going to... The Knight of Cups is a very passionate knight. But when I say passionate, he follows his heart. He puts his heart out there. He makes himself vulnerable. He's not afraid of his feelings. He's not afraid to express himself. He's not afraid to do what he wants um, and what's best for him. And the Two of Pentacles is, again, the card of balance, the card of choice. I think you're running out of patience with the situation and you're wondering if this is where you want to be anymore. And leaving this behind... Uh, it's not going to be easy, right? Whether it's a job or a city or um, a relationship, but you got to put your heart first. You have to create that happiness within yourself because if you're not happy, staying where you are and making the same choice is not going to bring in happiness. <laughs> it's just going to bring in resentment and frustration into your life. And I feel you have a big, big choice here, uh, Cancer. Now, the Two of Pentacles is my Carl Jung card. So what this card tells us is, first of all, your ships are going to come in. You will make the right choice. You will bring that balance and that harmony into your life. I do just feel... Well, let's just say this. So what this card tells us and what Carl Jung teaches us and that life has ups and downs, life has ebbs and flows. If your life is flat, you're living someone else's life, that's not life. Um, because as humans, we grow when we're in the down moments, when we're in the flows, when we're going through challenges, hard times, making difficult decisions, having tower moments, death moments, right? That's when we grow. That's when we evolve. That's when we change. If it's flat, we're never going to grow. We're never going to evolve. We're never going to change. And those are the Carl teachings of, well, not the only teachings of Carl Jung, but the ones that I identify with, uh, I'm going to say the most, because uh, I buy into that and I believe it. And the Two of Pentacles is making the choice to choose you. 
It's making the choice to turn a negative situation into a positive. It's making a choice to prioritize your happiness, get your ships coming through. We got the lovers again. So this very well could be a relationship. But again, what makes you happy, Cancer? That's what you got to do and you got to go after it. It's like it's like the energy of someone who, hey, you know, they want to be a singer. Um, and, and people told them they can't be a singer. You can't do that. And so they settled into, you know, working at Walmart. And they're just like, I don't really want to work at Walmart anymore. I want to be a singer. Even if they're just a bar singer and they perform in the bars, you can make a living and a decent, at least you're happy doing what you're doing. So it's that kind of energy where it's like someone settled or someone didn't necessarily do what was best for them. They're really considering their future and the choices that they want to make. I feel like there's running out of patience with a specific situation, um, but it's you're having a hard time leaving it behind because that's the advice or the action is the two of swords and the world in reverse. The world in reverse is not... It's unfulfilled dreams. It's something's not uh, like it's unfulfilled dreams. <laughs> it's what I feel. I mean, the world can mean that something's not over. Um, but I feel there's a blockage on your, your, your dreams here. What else you want to say about that? And there's the fool. You got to take a leap of faith. You got to make things happen for yourself because no one's going to make it happen for you, right? People who get what they want in life go after what they want, baby. Wow, this lover is, can, can this lover show up anymore? I've been watching way too many ever since Matthew, um, Perry died. Rest in peace, Mr. Perry. Um, but all these friends things come up and now I'm like reminiscing on friends. But can the lovers come up anymore? Um, there's a ten of, ten of cups. So um, I do feel there's unmet dreams here. And I feel that you're you're now just realizing that it's time to prioritize you and your happiness. You, I think you settled in some way here, Cancer. And you're realizing that that wasn't really what you wanted to do. We all do it for different reasons. Most people do it for bills and stability. Um, but whatever that energy is, I feel like you're ready to take this risk and go after what you want. You don't want to block what you want. You don't want to block your desires. And that's the advice here is not to block your desires. Like I said, the people who get what they want in life go after what they want um, because they believe they deserve it. So I do feel there's, you know, you could be stuck in a dead end job or a dead end relationship or in, in a situation like in a, in a small town and you want to be living in the big city where there's opportunity, right? You're, you're living in, I don't know, some town, some small town in Tennessee and you want to move to LA and make things happen. But whatever it is, um, the advice is to go after what you want, because if you don't, then you're just going to be having unfulfilled dreams. You're just going to feel like there's a part of you that's kind of missing. That's kind of empty. That's not really fulfilling your inner world. And the way you feel is really important. There's a fort. You've been thinking a lot about this. I think it's time to do it, but it's your choice. But I do see some unmet fill, some unfulfilled dreams here, some goals that haven't been accomplished. And I think you're running out of patience and you're ready to kind of take this leap of faith. And at least that's what the cards are saying. There's a Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is in pursuit of ambition. He's very ambitious. He's in pursuit of adventure. He's going after it. Nothing's stopping him. So I think you need to go after this. And that's what you need to know right now. You need to prioritize yourself, Cancer, because settling or putting yourself last is not going to serve you. And in the long run, you'll have goals that you didn't accomplish and you'll, you'll, you'll kind of might have regrets about that. Hmm. Okay. That's what we have here. Let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot, darling. We'll get back and we'll see where you're doing in a month. How you doing? If you go after this, if you're making things happen, if there's progress, let's talk about it. Let's see. Spirit guides, to make this happen, what is Kansa? You need to surrender to here. Ah, yeah. Your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen and then let go. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. Put the work in. Go after what you want. Have nothing but the utmost faith in the self. You got to believe, right? You manifest what you believe. And when you just believe with absolutely no doubt, that's when the magic happens. Boom. That's what... Well, that's the difference between people who get what they want and the people who don't get what they want. Sorry to be so harsh, but it is. If you've ever read any magic book or manifestation book or cult book or anything, which I read a lot of all of those... <laughs> You can't doubt yourself. You have to have unwavering faith in you. All right, let's get your Christ consciousness message. Spirit guides, what is the Christ consciousness message for Kansa? The Holy Grail, the sacred union. Balancing the feminine and masculine energies within yourself, right? That's what Matrix 4 was all about. I talk about it all the time. Matrix alert, matrix alert. But in matrix number four, I guess, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you ain't never seen it, um, and you should, in my opinion, I recommend it. A lot of people didn't because it's not as action packed as the other matrixes, but it was more symbolic than anything. And in the movie, the machines, the matrix, the robots, they say when Neo was alone, when he's just Neo, just the masculine, they won every time they won in all the previous matrixes. But when he merged with Trinity, boom, the feminine, the masculine energies came together. They couldn't beat him. They were unstoppable. That's when the magic happens, baby. And in Hermetics, that's what they teach us is that 
when you know genders and everything and when you balance your feminine and your masculine energies within yourself you become a beacon of light you become the magician you become the master manifester and you make things happen all right that's a beautiful card to come out in this reading cancer let's get your energy oracle message spirit guides what's it happy families in reverse what the fuck all right well let's see what they want to say about this let's see i just this little bug i'm sorry guys give me a second he was on my cards and now he's flipped upside down and he's really struggling and I'm scared to touch him because I don't know if he's going to sting me, but I'm just going to flip him upside right. Hold on. There you go, buddy. All right. Are you, did you make it? You didn't make it. Hold on. Sorry, cancer. I just got to flip this little bug. There he is. He's a happy guy. He can now walk and survive. Okay. Let's get your message. When one comes out of the deck, it's in the book. So hold on a second here. One moment. Okay. When the happy family card is reversed, it indicates a separation or emotional distance from family members or friends. The disconnect could be from your family of origin, like your parents or siblings, or something standing between you and your present family, whether it be children or your spouse. It could be hostilities that need to be worked out or some fences that need to be mended. So communication and patience are called for. Let your intuition be your guide. Remember that real healing starts when you choose to become your own loving parent, loving sibling, loving spouse, loving friend, loving child, and loving to yourself. The lesson in every relationship is self-honoring, and sometimes the karma is to just let go. The affirmation to repeat is, I open myself to a new and deeper experience, and I'm ready to see greater happiness there. I know that I am the loving family that I need. Maybe your family doesn't support this, but whatever that is, take the message as it is. And what we're going to do here, Kansa, is get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, <laughs> there's always free will, darling. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. When I say when I say outcome, let's see where you are in a month. Let's see how things are progressing. Let's see how you're doing. So you guys, where's cancer in a month? How they doing? How they progressing? Talk to us, baby. Talk to us. Well, well, well. Okay, we have the King of Cups in reverse. We have some emotions. That could be you, or you could be dealing with another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoa, whoa, everything's upside down. Let me just show you. My deck's not upside down. Okay. Ever since I get a lot, whenever, <laughs> never a lot of uh cards and reversals come up there's always people oh my god your deck is upside down oh my god flip it around but no i just read reversals because they meant i believe they're meant to come out that way they have a different meaning ten of cups in reverse and the ten of cups upright is telling us something very different so i just started doing that now to avoid those comments <laughs> all right whoa 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 all right i see it and there's the hangman you've had some realizations you might have felt the hangman can sometimes feel very attacked uh very on guard right it's card of yeshua it's card of jesus he was you know, attacked <laughs> for his beliefs um, and accused of doing things and they, they, they murdered him. That's the story of Jesus. We all know it. Um, whether you believe in it or not, it's, we basically all know what happened to the guy. Um, I, there was definitely some, some disharmony, some negative experiences, some healing that needed to take place. But we have death and the justice that follows this disharmony, these emotionals. This is a lot of overwhelming emotions. This King of Cups in reverse could even be jealousy. You know, when you go after what you want, when you make things happen for yourself, some people who don't go after what they want, who don't make things happen for themselves, can get a little bit jealous and envious. Um, and you're turning your energy on that. You're just letting go of situations, people, uh, thought patterns, whatever that would be here. Whatever this fork in the road is, you've made your decision. You've walked away from something that doesn't serve you, Cancer. Um, and it's letting go of that disharmony. You're not worried about what people think, what people are going to say, what their expectations are. So what if you fail? So fucking what? Every successful person in life has failed at something. When you learn to ride a bike, you probably fell off your bike, scratched your knees. When you learn to walk, you fell and scratched your knees, but you didn't just say, oh, fuck, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to learn to walk now. You just get back up. <laughs> you get back on that bike and you continue to move forward. Um, and failure actually is adversity and teaches us a lot, right? It's just about the perspective that you look at things with. I think you're letting go of that emotional turmoil. I think you've made the decision to just eliminate that from your life. You may have let people go from your life or you might just be leaving people at an arm's length whatever that energy is here cancer you've made your decision it's the ending of putting yourself last justice is principle of cause and effect it is acknowledging and understanding the spiritual laws that govern this plane when we work in conjunction with spiritual laws things go smoothly for us because we understand how things work here um and that's what you're doing is you're ending putting yourself last your the death is a difficult ending and transition no doubt and that's probably why you're at this fork in the road this two of swords energy you have to let go of something that might be hard um and again for you guys it's going to be different i obviously for a lot of you it's going to be some kind of family expectations or family thoughts here you know your parents might not support if you're younger they might not support maybe your children if you're older they don't support you but 
that's okay. They don't need to. You need to support yourself. You should be your biggest fan. And that's what the justice is, is making the best decisions for yourself. Every choice you take, every decision you make will have a positive or a negative consequence. And you're making decisions that have a positive consequence in your life. But there's going to be a little murkiness with some people in your life and you're just walking away from that. You might feel attacked. Um, you might feel like they're not on your side. And that's okay. You will find your tribe. You'll find those who are on your side. You'll find those who support you. Um, and most people, if they're truly on your side, they will come around. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes change is difficult and some people resist it, but they usually come around if they truly are your soul tribe and your people. So Cancer, I see some big changes. I see some big transition. You've made your decision here in a month. It did create some emotional turmoil, some negative energy, but you're letting that go. It's gone. You're moving forward and you're doing what's best for you. You're turning your back on people, situations, thought patterns, habits that do not serve you. And that's when you're going to start to see real progress and change in your life. So, Cancer, that's what's up. That's what we need you to know right now. <laughs> so, you have a big fresh start coming. You're going after your dreams. You're making things happen, baby. And that's what I got for you. So, Cancer, <laughs> if you enjoyed your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Cancer. I always appreciate your support. Truly, truly, I do. All right, baby, let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. Spirit guides. Yes or no? What's the answer for Kansa? We got two. Okay, what do we got? We have yes. We have a big yes. We got the two of cups, the four of pentacles. You're not holding back anymore. You're building stability. Again, it's a just an emphasis. Whenever we get more than one card, first of all, someone always comments and said they had more than one question. So both the answers to your question are yes. But I also feel like there's a deeper message. And on a consciousness level, the two of cups is balancing the feminine and the masculine energy within yourself, right? That's why I don't typically mix my readings. A lot of, a lot of people ask that, um, but I don't mix love career. I don't, I don't, um, because different cards mean different things. If I'm in a consciousness reading, the two of cups means something totally different than if I'm in a love reading, right? They mean different things. Um, and so that's just how I roll. That's how I do it, baby. But on a consciousness level, these, both these cards came up. So balancing those energies within yourself, mastering that within you is creating stability and foundation for your future. It's going to set you up lovely. That's what I got, Cancer. That's what's up. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.